Can you answer this challenge question? The small square in the diagram has its corner located at point Q, which is the center of the large square, and the side lengths are given as in the diagram. So here's the question for you. What fraction of the smaller square is shaded? Now pause the video, see if you can figure this out, and then resume when you're ready for the solution. There's many ways to solve this, but my favorite way involves a shear. So due to the symmetry of this problem, let's say we cut off this little orange triangle, we kind of shifted it to the side, we rotated it, and then we reattached it in the diagram like so. Now, since point Q is the center of the square, I think you can probably see that that blue and orange combined square has dimensions two by two. It's half the length and half the width of the larger square, which means the area of that shaded region is four. Meanwhile, what's the area of the small square off to the side? Well, it has a side length of three, so its area is three by three or nine. Therefore, we just figured out that the shaded region, once we put the orange triangle back where it belongs, has an area that is four ninths of the area of that smaller square. So there's one way to get the problem. Now, a second solution, which is also pretty cool, involves tiling three more of the smaller squares on this diagram, like I'll show you. One, two, three. Using symmetry arguments, and if you wanted to, you could prove this more elaborately. Yes! You could probably see that these four shaded regions, the blue, the orange, the red, the green, they're all congruent regions. Now, they're just rotations of one another, but they're the same size and shape. Well, what that means is each one of those is one quarter of the larger square. So each one of those is one quarter of the square that's four by four. In other words, each one is one quarter of 16 for an area of four. Well, that just means the blue region has an area of four. And again, that small square had an area of nine. So once again, the area is four ninths of that smaller square. That's this week's Think Fast. See you next week.